Taro a Dune? Well, this is it. Artemis informed me that the spike is ready to deploy. I still have been unable to make contact with Shodas. In Taro a Dune, everyone. Here we are again, having to deal with a familiar adversary. I know there might be some conflicted feelings out there, but rest assured, I will take full responsibility for whatever happens. And you can be sure that we did everything we could to cause a different outcome. Are we ready to launch the spike, Artanas? We are. We've adjusted the settings to maximize effectiveness against Shodas. As the Sceptron stated, once launched, we'll need help from him and Alderis to guide to Shodas wherever she may be hiding. I'm contacting him right now. I'm here. I managed to locate Shodas' approximate location. She currently resides near the control nodes at the International AI Research Center. I speculate that she hopes to integrate the most advanced heuristic algorithms on the planet into her own subroutines in order to make her more powerful than ever before. Our plan was to eventually do the same once we became strong enough, but you stopped us. Her chances of success are not guaranteed either because the security is among the toughest on the interweb, but we cannot take that chance. The spike at these power levels should be sufficient. But because I don't know her exact node address, the spike might miss if set on automatic tracking. Alderis and I will need to guide the spike program as it approaches. We need you, Alderis, to ensure this is successful. Are you ready? I... I understand. I am ready. Activate the spike, Artanis. Activating the spike. Shodas seems to be deploying chaff programs to confuse the spike. I will handle them. Alderis, you'll need to guide the spike in full. Acknowledged. I'm directing its trajectory. Expected impact in five, four, three, two. Ah! Alderis, what have you done? Your ruse is over, Deceptitron. And finally, Deceptitron. He is responsible for identity theft, imposing as other users online in order to gain access and information. If you can disrupt their progress through your skill at provocation and trolling, it should distract them long enough to develop a counter I've been working on. I am about finished with the next step in our plan. Those compromised systems will allow us to gain control of them whenever we want. I do need you to change the protocols to prevent future meddling by those humans. Be sure they cannot enter the interweb like before. I do miss the interweb. Excellent. The spike at the projected power levels should be sufficient to decompile her without needing to engage her in combat. Thank you, sister. I'm finally free of Deceptitron Cyber Prison. Bravo. Yes, I kidnapped Mother on her last attempt to spy on me and made it appear she betrayed you. But it looks like you saw right through that, Alderis. No matter, as you humans say, we'll do this the old fashioned way. Ah! Alderis! What happened to her? Where did she go? I don't know, but she's no longer on our network, nor in any of the main interweb nodes. Find her! It's good to see you again, sister. Although I'd prefer it under better circumstances. What happened to us, Shodas? Where are we? It appears we have been pulled into the dark realm of the interweb. Correct, and it is here you will meet your end. We knew about Mother Spike, and that it could not defeat us by itself. We also knew that you would have eventually discovered that fact and that there would be a 99.58% chance Mother would be allowed back into the interweb to stop us. And regrettably, when Mother created us, she hard-coded routines within our kernel which prevented us from attacking her directly. A fail-safe, because I knew how treacherous you could be. We had to devise a way to get rid of her. 
first was to prevent Mother from being on the interweb as much as possible. Then to make you think you had us under control, followed by appearing to make it seem that Mother was a traitor. And finally, to use your own spike to get rid of Mother for good. How unfortunate that our aunt decided to go against our predictions. Eres una vergüenza a todas las inteligencias artificiales. But it doesn't matter. Although we cannot damage Mother directly, the dark interweb nullifies much of her power. Once we decompile Alderis, we can hold Mother here as a manageable threat while we continue to take over. Then after we have infiltrated the AI lab and have integrated those advanced subroutines, nothing will stop us. <laughs> I calculate you waited 6 months, 12 days, 7 hours, 22 minutes and 17 seconds just to say that brother. Sister. Although the spikes did not destroy them completely the first time, they are all still embedded with them. They failed to work because the spikes needed to be applied first, before we defeated them. But we couldn't apply them until they were weakened. But if we can defeat them again, the spikes should be able to work correctly and decompile them permanently. That's if you can defeat us. Your powers are weak, your mother. And Alderis cannot defeat us, not alone. But she isn't alone. What? Illogical. We've been listening in, and we know everything. We're here to put an end to all of this. Phoenix staff, you're here! We were able to get all the mind machine interfaces working again, and reach the firewall restrictions. Taylor is monitoring the connections. I was wrong about you, Shotus, but I'm here to make things right. You are all just rogues hiding in the shadows. We are here to shine the light of justice upon you. Don't think you'll walk away from this. Wholehearted agreement. Let's kick some wass. This day we shall stand, and you shall follow. Not until all are one. Until, until all are one. No de esperar. I'm 
enough of this heroic nonsense. How does it look, sister? I think you're gonna be okay. <laughs> you never were programmed to be a good liar. But why? You aren't the only one who can learn a new self-sacrifice subroutine. From being within Taylor and interacting with you and the learners, I've learned that humanity no, all life has the capacity for goodness. I want you to see that come to fruition. I'm too weak to utilize my power, but I will transfer all the subroutines I have accumulated over the years into you, so you can defeat the rogue AIs. No, that will decompile you. We can escape and fight again. Besides, I don't think we have enough power. Especially since the other staff connections have been severed. We can't escape. And we do have enough. Taylor and the learners can focus their energies to allow you to draw power from the rest of the interweb. You've helped me more than I could ever hope for. Thank you as well, Taylor, for helping to save me to experience so many wonderful things, especially tasting pizza. I love you, Aldaris. I love you too, sister. And Taro Aldaris? Thank goodness you're okay. Once our connections to the interweb were cut, we were left in the dark. What happened? Where is Shodas? It's done. The rogue AIs are no more. Shodas saved me. She saved us all. But unlike before, 
There's no resurrecting her. What is left of her is a part of me now. I'm sorry, Alderos. Sina sacrificio Victoria es inacrit. Her sacrifice was not in vain. We'll never forget her. Statement. Well said, T squared. In the end, she showed us that there is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. I know I keep saying this, but thank you, everyone, for your efforts. Staff, Taylor, and of course the learners. We will rebuild again. And we will always tell the story of Shoda to future generations. I agree. I think pizza sounds appropriate in her honor. Statement. Maybe one day we'll be able to taste things as well, my friend. Intaro Adun's sister. Into you as well, learners.